It's a great quote by G.K. Chesterton. He once says that the Catholic Church has been attacked on all sides and for all contradictory reasons. No sooner had one rationalist demonstrated that it was too far to the east than another demonstrated with equal clearness that it was too far to the west. It's attacked, it's too liberal, it's too conservative. And the same thing is actually true of St. Paul. The earliest heretics all claimed Paul. The earliest Catholics all claimed Paul. Everybody thinks they have the market cornered when it comes to St. Paul. This means he's probably, next to Christ himself, our Lord, the most controversial person and writer in the New Testament. I've even heard it said that Catholics focus on the four Gospels and Protestants focus on Paul, and that's the problem. No, that's not the problem. Catholics focus on Paul, Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, Apocalypse, and the four Gospels, and the Old Testament. It's all a symphony. For next time, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the prejudice that we have in the modern age by trying to look at Paul as either Lutheran or as looking at him through the modern liberal rationalist understanding. And then once we do that, I'm going to explain to you the one key doctrine of St. Paul that's in every single one of his epistles, and Luther doesn't get it, the modern critical liberals don't get it, but the Catholic Church got it from the very beginning. And once you understand this central Pauline doctrine, I've talked about it before, if you've watched me before, you know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger here. Once you understand the central doctrine of Paul, and it has everything to do with his conversion, by the way. When you understand it, the Eucharist makes sense. Even praying saints make sense. The role of the Virgin Mary as not in competition with Christ makes sense. That the church would have a hierarchy makes sense. That the church would have sacraments that are visible and tangible on very common things. Not We don't have sacraments based on gold. We have sacraments based on water and bread and wine and oil and very basic things. Once you understand the central primary doctrine of St. Paul, I'll explain it next time, everything in Catholicism works. This was for me as a Protestant. It's like a safe with a combo lock. And at this point, When I got it, it just all fit.